Today, we're going to take a look at decentralized application and services using Con Connect. We extend our use case by implementing authentication and authorization scenarios with Con and OpenID Connect. I will be using Okta as my OIDC provider. I will show you how you can do API access and API management flows with OIDC and OAuth. Also, I'll touch base on implementing CI/CD pipeline with DAC and Connect. We're going to use an API gateway data plane deployed in VM inside the Docker and connected to my instance. Let's quickly hit this endpoint with Insomnia and make sure that endpoint is up and running. So our data plane is ready to use and our control plane is ready to receive commands. We're going to use DAC and declarative configuration to define our service. In this example, we're going to use HTTP bin website as our upstream service and we will configure our data plane using following path. We're going to use a name as a HTTP bin. We're using path as HTTP bin. Next, we're going to be using deck connect sync command in order to submit these changes to control plane. And after that, we can try to hit this URL endpoint and see a result. HTTP bin endpoint return set of headers, return the same uh, request back to you as a echo service. We can try different uh, requests. In this particular case, we will get a 200 request uh, response, 404 response, 503. Next, we're going to be using Okta to configure our YDC. We're going to take a look on two examples today. One example, we're going to be using integration of API services or machine to machine authentication. And another use case, we're going to be using OIDC with a single sign-on page. But let's start with this client credentials and machine-to-machine -machine communication. We will configure our OIDC plugin for Quang using following configs, client ID and client secrets we will copy from Okta website. Another thing uh, to configure here would be our issuer URL that we can copy from security API place from Okta. Next, let's call DAC Connect Sync again. As we can see, instance of OpenID Connect plugin was created in control plane and these changes was propagated to data plane because the next time when we hit this URL, we start seeing new response, not exactly what we expected. Let's uh, add parameter to follow this request and what we will see. We will see the page that says bad request 400 and this happened because our service did not provide or our client did not provide any authorization header information. So let's add those. Dash A parameter allows us to pass authentication headers here. So in this example, we implemented service to service communication using OpenID Connect. And let's quickly take a look into this authorization header that includes JOT token. We're going to use JOT debugger at uh, token.dev uh, to inspect our token and what we see here. We see our issuer, we see our scope that was configured in Okta. So that's something that we can take a look and uh, application use to investigate. So next thing, let's add another route that will also will point the same service. In this case, we're going to configure different plugin. With this route, we're going to configure another use case. Now this route was created. Let's quickly test this. We also call same status endpoint and we call get endpoint. Now, in this case, we'll learn how we can use Okta authorization to implement a login screen for our application. Notice here that in configuration of this particular use case, we also need to provide a redirect URL in order to, after successful login, application user will land on a particular page. So let's configure this OIDC plugin for slash HTTP bin to client ID and client secret. We copy it from page in Okta and issuer here also specify same security API issued URL that is configured in our account. Next, we update configuration. We invoked DAC Connect Sync. I would like to open incognito window that doesn't have any authorization information and try to hit this URL. Now I see Okta login window. Let's take a look what kind of users are allowed to log in here. And we're going to be using one of the users who never going to give us up. So in this case, we're going to use login as a Rick Astley and login to the system. By copying and investigating this JOT token using JOT debugger, we can take a look what kind of information we also can get from this token. As we can see here, 
some extra information was added here about subject and about group uh, we can control those group and the scopes inside the Okta. And after that, we can propagate this to our application. Our application can read this token inside and uh, make a decision what to do with this user. Last but not least, now when you learn how we can do declarative configuration of your control plane and data plane, you can embed this as a part of your CI CD pipeline. Let me show you quickly how does GitHub action for DAC look like as example. So for action that happens on push to main branch, there would be some of the configuration that already provided by people from Kong. You will have set up ready to using DAC. And after that, you can on each commit, you can do deck connect sync and we will providing connect email and connect password from the secrets inside GitHub action.